So how do we even do that? Yesterday, we posted a video about group carousal module and we got a question here. If the carousal has a fade transition rather than sliding between slides. Well, yes it does. Let me show you how. Check out this carousal that we have just created. It got multiple slides and all of them got different animations. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do the same for your carousals as well. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you're watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the DB Visual Builder. Now, if you like this carousal and if you also want to follow along with this video, you can go ahead and download this exact template from our blog post. You can check out the link in the video description below. Now, once the file is downloaded, make sure you go ahead and extract the JSON file from the zip file and go back in your WordPress backend and in the DV section, go to DV library. And here you just need to import this template. So let's click on import and we go to import again. And from here, you need to select the file that we have just downloaded. And once you do that, you will be able to see this template imported in your DV library. And now you can just go ahead and create a page and import this carousal template. Now, let me show you how to do all these animations. So if you take a look at different layers in this carousal, we have this group carousal added and under this we have multiple slides. So first we have this Divi conference, then we have this about section, then we have the itinerary and we have speakers and we have this slide for pricing. And just like you saw in the preview, all of them got different animations. So if we click on this Divi conference slide, if we open this, we have our column which got this image and we have second column which got all these text and buttons. So if you click on the first column, here we go to design and at the last option we have animation. Let's click on this and we have option for animations. So we have none, we have fade or we can have slide like this one or maybe we can choose bounce or maybe we can play around with all these different animation styles. But right now we are going with slide and we are going to keep the direction from right. Maybe you want to choose from left, top or bottom. And then we will leave everything as it is. And once we are done, we will have this image will be sliding towards the right in our animation. Just like that, we are going to select the heading here and we go back to design and under animation, we have again slide. Once again, we can choose fade or maybe slide or any other animation. And for this one, the direction will be left. In the same way, we can click on our main heading here. Again, go back to design and in the animation, we have the same settings here as well. But this time we are going to set an animation delay of 100 millisecond. Now, why is that? Because we want our main heading to come after a little bit of delay as compared to our main title here. In the same way, if we select this text and go to our animation tab, we have added a 200 millisecond delay. Once again, this one will come after once this main title will enter the slide. So by combining all these animations and delays, we will have a smooth transition of these images and text on our slide, which will look something like this. In the same way, we have second slide, which is about. And once again, we go to this column and we open our design and animation tab. We again have the same sliding animation coming towards right and we have set an animation delay of 5000 millisecond so that we can have a delay from first slide to the second slide. Again, if we go to the heading and all the other text, we have different settings for animation. So we have set delay of 5100 because first we are going to load the image and then our title will come into the slide. Now in the same way, we can go ahead and add as many slides as we want. And because we are using a group module to create our slides, the possibilities are endless. We can add any DV module to create our slide and then use the animation section to animate all the elements in our slide. So I hope this helps and answer your question about adding animation in group carousal module. And once again, make sure you visit our blog post that we are going to link in the video description below to see all the things in a step by step tutorial and also download this exact carousal template. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. 
And for more WordPress and TV updates, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.